Welcome to the new hangar. Hey guys, Perky Planes and RC here operating at 2.4 gigahertz and got the good old Daiju. All right guys, here you have it. This is what I have been uh, waiting on. And uh, I kind of figured it would kind of play out like this, that we're gonna start off the new year with the new hangar. So um, let me kind of bring you up to speed on, um, on a few things here. So um, with the way the housing market was going, it was very crazy, of course. Um, and we just really um, sort of looked into this house. Um, you know, our house was actually getting ready, our old house was getting ready to basically uh, be finalized, closed, and we were gonna have to get our little tushes out of there. And we needed to find something quick. And luckily this thing popped on the market just at the right time for us. Uh, had everything we needed, you know, good um, roomy living room, single level, just, just, the things, just the things we were looking at. The one thing though that it kind of lacked on was just a, a decent little uh, workspace, shed, something for uh, my tools, where I can work on projects and things like that. Um, so that's why the hangar was kind of in limbo there. Um, and, I mean, literally I was storing tools uh, and stuff like that in my wife's office. That's how, that's how bad it was. Um, um, but, you know, it was, like I said, it was towards the end of the year, weather was kind of, you know, crappy and, you know, there wasn't gonna be much flying anyways. So most of my plane stuff, of course, stayed in storage and things until we kind of got this thing here. So um, that's what kind of brings you up to speed uh, to this point. Uh, this is a 10 by 16 uh, shed uh, that will basically double as sort of my little workspace uh, as well as sort of, uh, as well as some additional storage for us. Um, there's not a whole lot of storage in the house, honestly. Uh, there's some closet space, but it's not a whole lot. But um, not a big deal. We've got this thing, so all is well, all is good. So anyways, that's kind of where we are right now. This just came right before the new year. Um, uh, it's one of the, it, it's actually an Amish built, um, storage shed building, uh, absolutely solid, um, absolutely no complaints over it whatsoever. Um, and I think it should be very, uh, very adequate for what I, what I'm going to be doing and stuff. So, um, you know, it's only been here a couple days and if you look, you can kind of see only just a few things are in here right now. As time goes on, of course, I will be loading more things in here. Uh, and filling this filling this space up and uh, over the course of the next bit you're going to probably see some videos that'll have some different angles from within the shed and basically but this is kind of like my new little my new little space so uh glad it's finally here and glad i can finally start or glad i can start the new year off getting back to work and doing some things so uh that kind of brings you guys up to speed on things here so um all right, guys. So now that it is 2022, I felt I kind of felt the need to also kind of go back and look at my channel uh, for what was what went on in 2021. And um, of course, the big thing basically as far as 2021 is uh, the, the house. That was of course the big thing. Um, if you had followed along with my channel and some of my videos, it's sort of like things were kind of progressing. You know, we're, we're progressing like they usually do with the channel with with different. Uh, I was focusing on balsa wood and things like that, balsa planes. And it, it's like with the house, when the house thing came, everything just, you know, sort of came to a grinding halt. And, um, yeah, it became, I became so focused on other things at that time, getting moved, getting packed, um, getting situated into the new place and all that kind of stuff. So it really kind of slowed things down a lot there towards, toward, through 2021. Um, and I'm glad to say that, of course, that's going to be changing. We'll, we'll pick it right back up and, and um, at our usual pace on 2022. But I, I know the focus last year was um, uh, was on balsa. And I did cover some balsa stuff, but it didn't really get too much into it. So, and then, like I said, of course, and and, and also the the radio change as well went going from Spectrum to uh, Open TX, Tyrannus, um, you know, that kind of thing. So. Um, they kind of made me wonder, like, you know, what can we do in 2022 now? Since uh, that kind of got, you know, um, since the house thing sort of happened that year and things kind of slowed down and everything. And we're starting the new year off. You know, what 
what can we do basically? Should we continue on with the balsa thing? Should we, um, you know, go into some other topics or any other things as well? And um, honestly, I haven't given it much thought. I really, I really have not. Um, I, I like to, I like to kind of do this channel and kind of just fly by the seat of my pants, basically. I, I, sometimes I might have a, a plan and, and sometimes that plan doesn't work out or sometimes, you know, things change or whatever. So, but um, I, I don't think I really have a set plan for 2022. Uh, I'm just super excited that I finally can get my hanger back and get back and, and get focused and, and do some stuff. And uh, hopefully you guys can kind of join in on the journey here and just, just see what happens. Um, I, I still have some boxes to unpack that has also, it has a lot of my balsa projects in it. I have, of course, I have balsa planes in storage that so still need to get out. Uh, all my flight test stuff is still in storage as well. Um, so, like I said, this is going to be filling, filling up here um, with planes and, and various things. So, um, so I, I really do not know what 2022 is going to bring, but all I can say is the excitement with, with getting kind of back on track is probably going to be very random. It will, will be my guess. I might do balsa one week and might jump into something else the next week. So um, that should make it a little bit interesting around here. <laughs> uh, so anyways, that's that's just how I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I haven't really given it much thought. Um, I did sort of think about it a little bit and I was like, and, and I, I did sort of think about it a little bit and um you know, with, with everything else going on, with the excitement of the new house and the family and the, and the munchkin and stuff, you know, I just, I, I didn't set a plan out. I'm just like, you know what, we'll just wing it. We'll just see what happens, see what projects I get into each week and just kind of jump around and, and, uh, just kind of go with that basically. So, so that's kind of, that's kind of what's, what's going to happen with 2022 is I really have no idea. <laughs> so we'll just go with it and, and have some fun doing it. And just see what happens, guys. Um, maybe we'll get some projects finished and flown. Maybe we'll start some new stuff. Yeah, we'll just kind of have to wait and see. Um, and maybe some projects will even cover um, getting some some additional lighting in here, and uh, getting some shelves put up, or or hanging some airplanes. We'll you know, we'll see. Um, it's just going to be all all over the map with this. So, but definitely hoping that 2022 is going to be a, a fabulous and wonderful year. And let me ask you guys a question too. I mean, I know I kind of talked about that 2022 was going to be, I just kind of viewed it as very random. Um, I welcome any comments, any suggestions, anything like that, that you guys want to throw at me as far as um, things to look, things to go into here on the channel. Um, you know, various plane projects, various topics to cover, anything like that. I welcome any of that. So if you uh, have any of those kind of suggestions or anything, Please leave them in the comment section below um, and kind of let me know what your thoughts are. Um, like I said, super excited about the barn, my new hangar. Um, it's not quite as big as the Harbor hangar. Mr. Ben Harbor, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll graduate to the Ben Harbor hangar, but I think for right now and honestly with the way I am with my personality and stuff, you know. I think this is perfectly fine for what I'll be doing, and um, uh, if I start developing some some 16, 20, 24 foot uh, planes, then yes, we might need to upgrade this the size of this shed to something a little bit bigger. But I think for right now, for what I do, I think this will work absolutely fine. So, all right, guys, that is all from me. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, sorry that I can't be showcasing a new airplane or something like that right at this moment but like i said probably over the course of the next week or two weeks this is going to start filling up and planes are going to start be seen again projects are going to be started on and we'll just we'll just see what happens we'll just see what happens we'll film it and we'll show it and uh, you know go from there so that's kind of kind of the uh the, the gist uh since i do have the the shed here as well um I'm hoping and planning on, knock on wood for planning, planning, um, to have more frequent videos. Like I said, 20, uh, 21 was just so, um, it was just so um, quiet as far as um, the video frequency. There was not a lot of videos being put out. 
just because of the craziness of the house and the house move and everything. So uh, I'm thinking and hoping here for 2022 that I'll have a lot more time to start shelling out videos and um, and all that. Um, uh, hopefully, maybe on a weekly or bi-weekly basis, kind of like I used to do. Um, so that's kind of what I'm what I'm hoping for here. So um, you know, expect to see some more frequent content here in 2022. Since I do have a workspace once again and can start getting back to work and start to glue in and cutting and um, putting together things and whatnot. So uh, looking forward to, to that as well in 2022. All right, guys, I'm officially done. I'm going to call it quits for now. Uh, drink my Mountain Dew here and uh, probably get back to work a little bit on the shed here and do some things and uh, add some things to it and stuff. So, But anyways, that is all from me. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Happy 2022, by the way.